Zoom, 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 boom, 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 boom. Here he comes, that mighty mouse, coming to vanquish the foe with a mighty blow. So don't be afraid anymore, cause things won't be like they've been before. Here I come to save the day, thank goodness mighty mouse is on his way. So let the trumpet players play, for mighty mouse is here today. Here he comes, that mighty mouse, just like a bolt from the blue, with a heart that's true, fighting evil, fighting crime, and always there in the nick of time. Here he comes to save the day, and he will prove that crime will never pay. So let the trumpet players play, for mighty mouse is here today. Just sharks. Give me an arch villain any day for a real challenge. An arch villain? <gasps> sharks are enough for me, thank you. I wonder what makes them so mean. I wonder what makes an arch villain. And that's our story today. What cornucopia of criminal elements conspires to make an arch villain? Can it be cold, uncaring destiny that is solely to blame? Or is it merely bad luck? This is the tale of one poor soul cursed by a horrible trick of fate. This unlucky fellow sports a rather distinctive calling card. Hey, uh, bud, how's about a trim? <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, I gotta go boil an egg. Hey, did you see the ball game last night? I'll say, the Yankees made a clean shave of it. This is the pitiful story of a man cursed by the name of Petey Pate. Don't ever call me that! <laughs> yes, fate sometimes deals a cruel hand. This poor soul has nowhere to turn. No place in society to commingle. I'll show them. People would take me seriously if I were an outlaw. No, no, not an outlaw. An, an arch villain. So with that, Pete, uh, um, Mr. Pate visits his neighborhood arch villain supply store. Now all I need is a couple of burly henchmen. Yes, sir. The world had just better make way for this oh. arch villain! <laughs> Watch me, boys, and see how it's done. Uh -oh. Give me all your dough. Signed, Petey Pate! <laughs> I can't understand it. I got a swell new hideout, a great suit, terrific henchman. What more do I need to put myself over as an arch villain? <laughs> Here you are, Pearl, safe and sound. 
Honestly, Mighty Mouse, but I could have walked to work, you know. That's it. I'll get respect as an arch-villain by defeating Mighty Mouse! I'll get Pearl Pure Heart as bait for Mighty Mouse. We'll need a trap. A clever trap. Something no one else could think of! It's got to be something ingenious! Falls our fair eared heroine, Pearl Pureheart. So, you're the famous girlfriend of Mighty Mouse. This is certainly a great honor, isn't it, boys? Da, yeah, yeah boys. boys. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Mighty Mouse means nothing to me. <laughs> Such touching loyalty. <laughs> it chokes me up, it really does. <laughs> Unfortunately, your foolish display does not impress me in the least. You do know Mighty Mouse! You know his strengths, his weaknesses! No! No! Yes! And now you will tell me his weaknesses! No! Tell me, girl, or I'll... What is it you want? What are you after? What am I after? What am I after? I'll tell you what I'm after! I want to own all the left shoes in Mouseville! <laughs> Why, you're mad! <laughs> mad? You think I'm mad? I'll show you mad! <laughs> Calm him down. <sighs> I've been bad. Everything seems so clear now. The hurt is gone. Let her go, boys. I don't know what came over me. Oh, it's all right. You're through it. You're so good. Go home now. I'll be all right. Whom should I thank for this kind deed? Uh, they call him Petey. citizens of Mouseville, I have a message for Mighty Mouse. I challenge that muscle-bound rat to a duel. I'll prove to you weasels that I, Petey Paint, am the strongest of all. And if Mighty Mouse doesn't show up, no one will ever see Pearl Pure Heart again. Except on legal holidays. And so, Mighty Mouse, if you're listening now, meet me at Mount Pate for the Battle of the Century, if you've got the guts! Oh my gosh! Pearl is in trouble! What to do? I've got it! I'll follow the TV transmission to its source! <laughs> Mighty Mouse, don't do it! Go back! It's a trap! Hold on, Pearl, because here I come to save the day! Now for my trump card! <laughs> Gad, I'm twisted! 
Shake can wow. Miss you on those legal holidays. Is this the end of Mighty Mouse? Has the final hour come at last? Wait, what's this? This is more than a mouse, folks. This is a champion, a great champion, a miracle mouse. Here he comes to save the day. Is deeds laid waste by this this rodent? I'm forced to use my last ditch attempt. Boss, <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't been tested yet. <laughs> This much. <laughs> why? Why did you do this? So I look good when they take my picture in jail! This about wraps up the case. And so, once again, justice is served well, and a large debt is owed to the greatest of insectivores, Mighty Mouse! <laughs> For this, I got a third degree tan. We begin our story at the Mouseville Elementary School, where miceling minds are gently molded for a future of mature thought, of quiet contemplation, and orderly... Well, anyway, today was Orphan Scrappy's first day at school. Hey, you want to go catch some apples from old man Weasel's tree? Nah, my mom's baking up a batch of cookies today. Well, how about you? You want to go watch him scrape grease off the rags down at the car wash? Sorry, kid, but my mom promised to take me to the zoo. Well, I'll tell you this much. If I had a mom and a pop, those other kids wouldn't have nothing on me. Hiya, little fella. My name's Pearl. Oh, what's yours? Scrappy. What's it to ya? Just trying to make friends. Well, thanks, lady, but I don't really need any. I've already got the best pal a guy could have, and his name just happens to be Mighty Mouse. You don't say. But in that case, why so glum? Well, I'm just a little worried that a guy like me, with no mom and dad, might not have a chance to turn out as swell as a guy like Mighty Mouse. <sighs> See what I mean? Not really. You know, Mighty Mouse was an orphan, too. You mean it? Could you tell me more about it? Well... Please! Okay. First of all, Mighty Mouse is not from here. He's from a strange and alien world a thousand blocks from here, where they don't have nice little houses like we do. Oh, uh, excuse me, but I believe the narration is my job, is it not? Not this time it isn't, so just butt out, Buster. <clears throat> As I was saying, the mice in this other neighborhood don't live in cute little houses like we do. In fact, they don't have houses at all. They live in holes, in huge, cavernous structures called buildings, which are also inhabited by humans. Perhaps the gravity is heavier in this alien neighborhood. Or maybe the very air is different. No one really knows why these other mice are so different. But one thing is certain, they must be mighty indeed to survive under such hostile conditions. And into these harsh conditions, a child was born of loving parents, Laraj and Aral. Will they believe you this time, my beloved Laraj? If they do not, my beautiful Aral, then they are more than the shiftless fools living only for the moment. 
They are doomed. Oh, at least, at least we have made plans for our child. All right, come on, come on. Let's get the gloom and doom over with, huh? But I tell you it is true. Our whole world soon will be destroyed. Ah, uh, you've been telling us the sky is falling for the last three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, and the living's easy now that the giants have split the joint. I tell you, this time I have irrefutable proof. This building condemned? Raj proven right. Together, he and Aral carried their beloved child to the escape vehicle carefully prepared for this very fateful moment, adding an ample supply of nourishing Limburger for the long journey's end. Oh, Laraj, I'll miss him so. At least, dear Aral, he will survive to grow up in a better neighborhood. Technology is a tool which may never, never, never be trusted. Bon voyage, my son. Travel well and age supreme. Never fear, my dear. We can always find a new hole in the next building. Meanwhile, the thousand-block journey was long and dangerous, fraught with unknown and unknowable stresses. <coughs> <laughs> the baby mouseling held up just fine. But something extremely ominous apparently happened to the onboard provisions. But finally came the dawn over a forest on the outskirts of Massville, where the fateful journey at last came to its end. <coughs> the force of the crash split the tightly wrapped cellophane, spewing the altered Limburger in all directions. Limburger Act, henceforth, Mighty Mouse's sole vulnerability. But, getting back to our story... Land sakes, Pa! What caused that noise? I don't rightly know, Ma, but there seems to be some sort of obstruction here. What in tarnation is it? Darned if I know, Ma. Looks to be some kind of newfangled flying contraption. <laughs> Can't be too newfangled if it only flies straight down. It's the child we never had. Yeah, let's call the little tyke Mike. And thus was the alien baby adopted by kindly Ma and Pa Squirrel. Gosh, Pearl, that means Mighty Mouse really was an orphan, too. <laughs> Didn't I say you two shared a lot in common? Yeah. Well, so come on, Pearl. Tell me more, huh? Well, it wasn't long before the squirrels began to detect subtle differences in their adopted child. Something mighty strange about that tyke. Mama! I think Paul just might have a point. Yep, something mighty strange. 
In the years which followed, the young mouse grew and grew and grew and grew. It finally happened, Ma. Our tree has gone plum nutless. Then, how will we ever make it through the winter, Pa? Good question, Ma, especially with them crows being hungrier than us. Here I come to save the day! saved our lives, Ma, but there's one thing we just gotta face. Our son is not a squirrel. This is true, Pa, but then, just what is he? Well, near as I can figure it, he's nothing less than a mighty mouse. I'm glad you brought that up, Ma and Pa, because there's something I've been meaning to bring up. And believe me, I'm grateful for everything you've done for me, but... Your ma and I understand, son. You're feeling it's time to be moving on. Why, yes, Pa, that's it exactly. And also, I feel a need to use my abilities for the good of all. And with all them ruffians over to Cat Town, no doubt they could use a fella like you in the big city. That's it, Ma. I... I... I'll go to Mouseville! Good idea, son! And if you'll just pluck me out of this here pile of plenty, I'll go stitch you a rat fancy costume out of them blankets you came to us in! And so was born Mighty Mouse, tireless champion of truth and justice, bane of bad cats, and hero of oppressed mice everywhere. A miracle of a mouse, shaped from a childhood just as humble as yours, Scraps. Gosh, Pearl. A story like that kind of makes a guy's eyes sweat. In fact, I'm so choked up and proud, I, I'm ready to burst! <laughs> to think of a fellow orphan turning out as swell as Mighty Mouse. Golly, I wonder if he's even got a secret identity. And what it is. No one knows, Scrappy. But whoever his secret identity is, you can bet he's an honest, hard-working guy. Our story begins high in the night sky above Mouseville, where Mighty Mouse cruises on patrol, ever alert for the first sound of trouble. There it is! Yellowing cats! There can be no mistake about it! Somewhere mice are in terrible trouble! Here I come to save the day! Oh, what a mouse! Just look at that mouse! Nothing can stop him! <laughs> yes, it's yet another triumph for Mighty Mouse! No oppressed mice? No hapless mice? No mice at all? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> just me. Just you? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Durf. No, nobody likes me. Nobody? Not even the other cats? No, they say I ain't too bright. And then they laugh at me. Say, is there something wrong? Y yeah, I c got a th thorn in my paw. Don't worry, big fella. I can handle that. <laughs> 
There you go. Thanks a lot, pal. Thanks a lot. No one's ever pulled a thorn out of my paw like you pulled it. You will be my bosom bud for life and forever. Oh, how happy, happy, happy we will be because we are such good friends. Easy, big fella. I'm grateful for your gratitude. But a new day is dawning. And a hero's work is never done. Wow, what a guy, what a guy. My pal, my buddy. My hero! What's this? Our hero is changing back into his secret identity, Mike Mouse! Is it something I ate? Uh... Hiya, little buddy. What are you doing here? Uh, you saved my paw, little buddy. You made my ouch go away. But that was in Cat Town. This is Mouseville. You'll never be accepted here. But, but, you're my pal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Get out of here. Go home. Scat. Shoo. Uh, All right. Come on, big fella. We're late for work. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. My buddy, my pal, my hero. We are going to be good friends, you and I, because we are such good pals. <clears throat> All right, crew. Another day, another discharge of duties demanded. And let's take delight in it, shall we? Just remember, we have schedules to meet, quotas to fill, and productivity to produce. I know you'll all do your best as usual. And, as usual, feel free to do even better. Something tells me it's going to be one of those days. Big fella? You know, I've been thinking about what you said, how nobody likes you and not even other cats. I just can't figure it out, Durf. It's a real stumper. As far as I'm concerned, you're not such a bad guy. As far as cats go, anyway. Oh, 
You don't know how much that means to me, little buddy. I'm beside myself with joy. <laughs> you, you, you're the best pal a guy ever had. Oh, well, time to hit the sack. <sighs> oh, 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 no, no. Well, little buddy, good night. Durf even began to affect Mike's social life. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy, we can handle it. Yes, they make quite a pair, don't they, folks? Indeed, their friendship is difficult to ignore. So, Mouse and Captown alike are about to the awful truth. Can't seen with Mouse! I really hate to do it, Mike, but your new friend is simply exerting too much of a negative influence on the other workers. Pearl, you mean? Yes, Mike. These are your marching papers. Oh, well, it, it could be worse, Durf. At least we still have our home. Evicted? Oh, how the mighty has fallen, with his new friend right behind him. But can this really be their final fate? Is this what they get for breaking society's harsh and petty rules? Is this their reward for simply trying to cultivate a true and steadfast friendship? I guess it is. Comfy little buddy. Never more so, Durf, big fella. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. This one's on me. Uh, here I come to save the day. Come on, come on, put him up, let's go, come on, I'll take on you and your mother too. Come on, put him up, put him up. My mitt! I got a cactus in my mitt! Uh, I know what to do! What a guy! Oh, my pal, my buddy, my hero! <laughs> oh, wait up, little buddy! I'm gonna be a pal now! We could go fishing, we could chase cats together! Uh, I mean, we could hang out together! I'll even introduce you to my mother! It'll be great, little buddy, you'll see! He sure saved our fur! Yeah, and who would have suspected Durf was a real live superhero? He was just pretending to be a Shlemiel so he could protect his secret identity. Ah, uh, I always said he was a good egg. You! Ah, yes, the end of a perfect day. When after colossal effort and heroic yeah. deeds, even a super mouse must have a super sleep and super dreams. Mr. Trouble never hangs around when he hears this mighty sound. Here I come to save the day. That means the mighty mouse is on the way. Yes, sir, when there's a wrong to right, mighty mouse will join the... Oh. Hey, watch where you're sitting. Just listen to this stomach! Wow! And my eyes! I don't even want to talk about my eyes! Gee, it sounds like you're sick. Yes, but I'm the Tooth Fairy! Tooth Fairies can't afford to be sick! 
I have to go to one more house tonight! What? You? Ah! You're the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> the person who sneaks in the kids' rooms and gives them dollars for their teeth? That's you? Ah! Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Gee, hey, look, why don't you get some rest, give me the dollar, and I'll get your last tooth for you. Gee, I know a dollar is a lot of money, but I guess this is something extra special. You? Y you would do that for me? You... you wouldn't mind? Oh, my eyes thank you, my head thanks you, and my stomach thanks you. Here's everything you need. You sure everything's okay? Well, I've heard of keeping up with the news, but this is ridiculous. Now, how do I find number 10? Hey, that's it, number 10. Pretty big kid. Beak warmer for a ten foot canary? Where's the tooth? Oh, here it is. Ugh. Come on, kid. Don't you want your dollar? Here's your, your, your dollar. Dollar? Dollar! I'll show you a dollar! Look, mine are all cats. You know something? I don't think that was a little kid. I think that was a witch. Which? Why, yes. You know, I might just be a witch. Of course I'm a witch, you twit! Now, how's about a drink, huh? How's about let's warm it all up, huh? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. That's delightful, but, but I'm afraid I can't stay. I'll just have to... Ah! Fancy meeting you! Egg pit? What's that? Well, let's see. It's a pit full of eggs, I guess. Who said that? Shh! Did you hear that? Somebody's in the room. Well, I don't see anybody. Huh? huh? you are? What kind of clothing are you? I'm not clothes. I'm scrappy. Skimpy? Sounds like a polyester blend. What? Wah? What's a wah? Maybe he's a scarf. What do you mean, scarf? I said I'm scrappy. I'm scrappy. scrappy. Here we go again. He can't make up his mind. Disorganized thinking. You'll never find your egg bit that way. Stop! Look, we gotta get out of here before the witch comes. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to hurry, just because some stupid... Witch! <laughs> we gotta get out of here before the witch comes. Well, maybe I can help you on your way. in there.
something I can do out here. She finally let me get a nap in. Oh. Scare a boy and good fright. We eat it, Tom Mouseling. <laughs> <laughs> It must have let the spigots run. From now on, you'll have to do your own job. Thanks, kid. But now my job is done. By the way, how do you like my new clothes? From the peaceful, quiet metropolis of Mouseville, on the outskirts of town, lies the cold, cruel tenement known as Vermin City. Here, the most vicious villains in all the land gather to plot their nefarious schemes. It is here that the most terrifying masterminds of them all, the supervillains, begin their awesome waves of crime. Even as we speak, a new wave of crime is sweeping over Mouseville. 
Who is this foul fiend who is terrorizing the city? Is there a pattern to his crimes? Who will stop this madman? This looks like a job for Mighty Mouse! Hello, operator. Put me through to a Mr. Bat-Bat, please. Hello, Bat. Mouse. How's tricks? Me? Oh, not much. How's the Lord? First time, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Uh, oh, uh, by the way, there's a crime wave sweeping the town, but I I'm late for work. Can you handle it? Leave it to me, old friend. At last, another chance to squash the criminal vermin of this city. Yes, it's Bat-Bat, masked defender of justice. Bat-Bat has dedicated his life to wiping out corruption and filth in this diseased society of ours. With the help of his faithful sidekick, the Bug Wonder. To the Manmobile, Bug Wonder! Once again, the Manmobile roars into the night, striking fear into the hearts of evildoers everywhere. Ah! Taste cold justice, you disreputable henchman types. Having vanquished his vile foes, the Dark Avenger speeds off into the night, secure in the knowledge that law and order prevails. Back in the seclusion of the Bat Pit, Bat-Bat is free to reveal his most closely guarded secret. For in reality, Bat-Bat and the Bug Wonder are none other than millionaire playbat Bruce Vane and his youthful ward, Tick. When I think of how the scum of this city are allowed to run free, I get so mad I want to... I want to write a very stern letter to all their parents. Only Belfry, Bruce's trusted butler, knows his dark secret. Your twist puff, sir. Ah, thank you, Belfry. Ah, yes, after a hard day of fighting crime, there's nothing so relaxing as a light, flaky pastry. Covered with real creamery butter. <coughs> Something wrong, sir? This isn't butter. <coughs> it's margarine. Holy oleo, Bad Bat! You're right! I've told you a thousand times never to give me anything but real butter. I'm sorry, sir, but there seems to be a shortage of butter. Gad, life is so cruel. Bruce, look at this newspaper! Hello, what's this? Butter becomes weightless. Four dairies float into space. Butter becomes weightless? Raymond Burr must be in orbit by now. And this just in, ice cream stands all over the country are reporting that the flavors of their ice creams are mysteriously changing. Old favorites such as strawberry and chocolate are now reported as tasting like liver and onions and aluminum siding. In other news... What is this country coming to? How can we maintain the highest standard of living in the world if our ice cream tastes like a garage door? Hello? Yes, Commissioner, this is Bat-Bat. What? All the milk, chocolate, and candy bars has been replaced by steel wool? Well, don't look at me, Commissioner. I didn't do it. Oh, you want me to find out who did? Yes, sir, I'll get on it right away. Goodbye. Quick, Ward, to the Bat Pit! One of these fiends is responsible for these dastardly dairy crimes. But which one is it? Ten Face? No Face? Ralph Mann? Well, I'm stumped, old chum. I have no idea who's committing these dairy crimes. Your hot chocolate, sir. Belfry, look at this. Holy heifer, that's it. Only one man could have committed these crimes. The cow. Bug Wonder, don't drink that cocoa. Open your mouth. Aha, just as I thought. A message. Belfry, get the bat scope. And whatever you do, Bug Wonder, don't swallow. Hold still now. I think we've finally got this thing working. Ah, there it is. Attention, Bat Bat. Meet me at the Mouseville Dairy tonight at 9.48 p.m. It's just around the corner from the public library. Park in the back and let yourself in with the key under the mat. We'll be waiting for you. Signed, the cow. At last, a clue to the cow's whereabouts. Now, if we can only decode it. Hot cocoa, chocolate ice cream, cottage cheese. How much longer will this exploitation go on? When will the cows cast off their milking machines and stand on their own two hooves? When I think how for centuries the cow has been forced to submit to the public's demands for measly dairy products, I get so furious, I want to, to 
But enough of this! All this anger upsets my stomachs! Centurions, come to attention! Now, as you know, my campaign of sabotage against the insidious dairy industry is proceeding right on schedule. But the one man who could put a stop to our plan, the Bat Bat, has discovered us! Now don't cry over spilt milk, men! I have arranged a rendezvous with the didactic duo tonight at the Mouseville Dairy, where his illustrious crime-fighting career will come to a powdery end! Ha ha ha! Moo! Ha ha! This plan is not only foolproof, it's also tamper-proof and child-resistant! We superheroes always do things the hard way. Well, if it isn't the famous Bat-Bat! Yes, and if it isn't the famous cow... I see you brought the famous Bug Wonder with you! Throw in the towel, cow, the final bell has rung. It hasn't yet, but it's about to! <laughs> As you can see, Bat Bat, you are trapped in a milk dehydrating machine. This is an utter mistake. Flippin' to the end, eh? Well, I expected that. This bad joke meter measures the corniness of your one-liners. When the ratings hand hits zero, you and the bug blunder will be instantly turned into powdered superhero. Ha ha ha! You, you friend? I think he means fiend. And now I must be going. I have a date with Destiny, the International Milk Exposition. Come, Echo Sex. I had a date with Destiny once, but she stood me up. Is this the end of Bat Bat and the Bug Wonder, and the beginning of the dehydrated duo? Is that a multiple choice question? This looks like the end, Bat Bat. Yes, it looks as though we're going to take a powder. It is an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. Although recent events have caused a minor decline in the dairy industry, I am proud to present this Dairy Man of the Year Award to Mr. Buckley Butterfat. This award is an outrage! This entire fair is an outrage! Another humiliation to the cow community, but no more! Now I will exact my vengeance on all of you! Ha! Ha! Moo! Moo! Look! The Bat Bat! What? It can't be! Give up, you coward! Holy honor! It is Bat Bat! Please, ladies and gentlemen, everything is under control. Please, remain calm. My shorts really rode up. On guard, Bat Bat! Didn't expect to see me again, did you, Cud Breath? You're supposed to be in the dehydrating machine! How did you escape? Simple. I recited a USO monologue and your hope meter exploded. Curses! Take that, you curs! And that! And that too! Take this five dollars, and don't you spend it all on comic books. What's that in your ear, cow? Yeah. Well, what's that in your belly button? Hey, what's that in your nose? Hold it, Bat Bat. One more step and we both go over. You heard me. Back off, or start looking for a new spokeswoman. Ah, er, spokes cow. No. Take it easy. I know you don't want to hurt anybody. What do you mean? I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm an arch villain. That's my stick. You're just misunderstood. You crave the attention the other cows get. You've been looking for love. We all need love. We live for love. Even lowly scum like you. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Yes, I was jealous. I do need love. I... I made so many mistakes. We all make mistakes, cow. That's why they put rubber on the ends of pencils. 
take good care of him, boys. Put him out to pasture. Look, Bad Bad, it's Mighty Mouse. Here I come to save the day. A little late. Well, the lights were against me. <laughs> this is Little Orphan Scrappy. He's not running away from home. He's running to find a home. Yes? Hi, my name is Scrappy. I'm an orphan. Will you be my mom? <laughs> we need mice. We need mice. Wow! Too short, too high, too big, too small. You never, never do. do. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Why are you crying, little fella? Why aren't you out playing with your friends? I don't have any friends. I'll be your friend. You mean it? Mighty Mouse never lies! You're really Mighty Mouse? That's right! And we're pals? Pals for life! Wow! You mean if I'm ever in a tight spot, you'll come and save the day? Of course I will. But don't you go calling your super friends just any old time. Make sure you're really in trouble. So long, pal! King! Mighty Mouse is my pal! Hi, I'm Scrappy. Who are you? We're the Mice Fits. I'm Mo. This is Bob, and that's Frawley. Hey, can I hang around with you guys and have some fun? Uh, don't know. Uh, what do you think, Bob? Certainly not. Beat it, you little squite. Who needs you? Oh, yeah? Well, who needs you when Mighty Mouse is my pal? Mighty Mouse! <laughs> Mighty Mouse, your That's pal! Rich. <laughs> Mighty Mouse is my pal! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Let's play a gag on the little hairball. <laughs> you know the apple tree up at Old Man Weasel's place? Not Old Man Weasel! Hey, kid, you can join the mice fits. We was just kidding you. Of course. You gotta pass the initiation. Think you can handle it, Pee-wee? Pee-wee? You just tell me what to do. That's a spirit. Now, you see that shack up there on the hill? That's where Old Man Weasel lives. Old Man Weasel? What's the matter, kid? You scared? Well, not me, Jack. Good, now. If you can take an apple from that tree... You're in. No sweat! <laughs> what a riot. This kid'll be in for it when that old weasel catches him. That's where you got the story wrong, boys. I'm no weasel. I'm a mole! You know what happens to bad little boys who steal apples? Who don't know a weasel from a mole? Thanks, weasel. Here you go. So. You've been bad little mice. 
don't look so sad. Don't you know? This is the most whimsical place on Earth. You're gonna like it here. And as for me, well, I'm a swell guy. Just ask old Salty here. He knows me well. <clears throat> Ain't that right, Salty? Ah, don't tease him! Quiet! Listen, I'm a fair guy. But just remember, if you don't pull your weight as good carnival workers, if you don't obey my rules, and if I ever catch you working against me, Let's think nice things, shall we? Uh, I bet you wouldn't be so tough if Mighty Mouse were here. Sure, kid, but Mighty Mouse ain't here, is he? You're gonna have a great time. Just wait. Tomorrow you'll have all the carnival attractions you've ever wanted. <laughs> How do they do it? I mean, the action of those puppets is so lifelike. That's got my interest. Just amazing. You mouse! I want that swell jeweled scratching post over there, sticking about all the mouse traps. It's uh oh my goy <laughs> That's it, mouse! Now pull it out! Mm, I don't like it. How about that bag of catnip over there by the hand grenade? Boy, am I beat. A vulgar situation, indeed. What'll we do? <laughs> I'm never gonna steal another apple. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this is a fun place to be? <laughs> oh, you poor little snips look hungry. Hey, Julius! Bring these guys some grub. They're gonna need their strength. Tomorrow's a big day. <laughs> How I love the carny business. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll get us out of this. Well, I'll call my pal Mighty Mouse. Ah, uh, lay off it, will ya, kid? Mighty Mouse ain't your pal, and you know it. If he were, he'd get us out of this mess. He is too, my pal, and I'll prove it. But don't you go calling your super friends just any old time. Make sure you're really in trouble. Oh, well, you guys don't believe in him anyhow. So let's save him the trouble by saving ourselves. You remember all those papers in Chester's office? Well, that guy's so crooked, there has to be stuff in there to prove he belongs in jail. If we can just sneak in there. Hey, I don't want to cause a fuss, but you got some mice over here that don't move nearly as lifelike as the ones in your puppet show. Oh, what? Should do the trick, Scrappy. Swell! Now we can. Aha! What did I tell you about working against me? When you're done with this ride, you're gonna be so dizzy you won't have a chance to do any more plotting against Chester. Let this be a lesson to you all. <laughs> you know, I 
think I might have gone too far this time. Gee whiz, Mighty Mouse. I think I really am in trouble now. And if you really are my pal... Help! Here I come to save the day! I guess I deserve that. Wow, Scrappy! <laughs> what a guy! <laughs> you really do know him. Uh, he is your pal. <laughs> you mind, Scrappy, if we hang around with you from now on? Well, I'll consult with Mighty Mouse and see if there's any time on our schedule. Don't worry, boys. You've always got a job here. <laughs> They're good kids. I'm gonna tear this dump down and turn it into a bingo parlor. <laughs> Who knows what mystical force is at work right now? Transforming the very fabric of our known universe. How little we know. of a hurry to play hooky, is he? Well, I'll show him. Gotta change the Mighty Mouse and avert catastrophe. It's my duty to save the planet. Oh, no, you don't, Mike Mouse. Last month, you raced away from your position online ten times. I kept strict count, and I've got the charts to prove it. This time, I'm stopping you. Oh, look out for that! Oh, oh, hold on, wait! Oh, oh. But Pearl, I put in triple overtime every night without pay! That's no excuse! Wait, hold on! Mike! Oh, forgive me, Mike. If I'd known it would lead to this, I never would have made an issue of your absenteeism. <sighs> Or Pearl. I'll make it up to her later. What's going on here? has happened, and it is only with great regret that I must make the following announcement. Our dear friend and beloved co-worker, Mike Mouse, 
will no longer be punching our time clock. Can it be? After such a brilliantly long and illustrious career, is this really the end? Yes, I guess it is. And all of Mouseville must mourn a single sad fact. Mighty Mouse is no more. Mighty Mouse? What about Mike Mouse? Oh, uh, yes, you're quite right. This day is doubly darkened. Indeed, it is hard to imagine another calamity befalling within the same 24-hour period. Runaway train! The brakes are out! My alter ego's co-workers are too distracted by grief to realize the danger they're in. I've got to stop this train! Hey, look, it's Mighty Mouse, and he's alive. He'll save the day. And what a day it is destined to be! I can remember, but it didn't seem like the wrong side of the bed I got. These balloon payments are getting sky high, dear. Now it's double parking. But Scrappy's orphanage is definitely off limits! train I wanted to stop? Oh, no! Has anybody looked in the basement lately? W wait a minute! Let me get just one thing straight. We've been celebrating the fact that Mighty Mouse ain't around to save the day no more, right? Uh, yeah. So he's not gonna pop in anymore, right? Uh, yeah. So he won't be in here, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, just checking.
right. That's better. Now, what is going on? Who is doing all this? It's me. I'm doing it. I don't mean to. It's just that bad luck follows me around wherever I go. Bad luck? Is that all? Man, listen to what you're saying. Look around. The world is a wonderful place. You just have a bad attitude. Now, get that chin up. Stand up straight. Suck in that gut. <sighs> like this? Perfect. Now wake up, man. Smell the coffee. The world is yours. Now go out and get it. The world is mine. The world is mine. Now, if only I could solve every disaster so easily. Gosh, I feel good. <laughs> What about Mike Mouse? What about Pearl? Oh my gosh! Pearl! I forgot! <laughs> yeah! What about me? My best worker is gone and it's all my fault! Hi, Pearl! Need a lift? <gasps> you! You're alive! Ooh! I wasted the whole day crying over you and there you were swimming around and having fun! B Pearl! But me, Mike Mouse. Just wait till we get back to work. Ooh, you'll see. Ooh, you think you can goof off all day, but you'll see. On this bright young day, we find the school children of Mouseville preparing for another exciting field trip. <laughs> Today, the pride of Mouseville are going to the Museum of Natural History, where they will see relics and artifacts of the prehistoric mouse past. Oh, there's one now. Tell me, sir, just how many of these trips have you made over the years? This is my first week here. Really? How old are you? Twenty-two. Hey! Wait for me! You go! to go on an old field trip anyway. All they're gonna see are a lot of bones and fossils and stuff. I can see stuff like that in the cafeteria any day. Hey, wow, is this bus yours? Actually, it's a loner, but that doesn't matter. Climb aboard, Scrappy, and we'll have ourselves a real field trip. Gosh, Mighty Mouse, that sounds great. Gee, I guess I won't have this to kick around anymore. I'm sure glad you came along, Mighty Mouse. I missed the bus to the Museum of Natural History. Is that where you wanted to go? Sure. It sounds real interesting. All that ancient prehistoric history stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, Scrappy. Let's go to a place that's even more interesting. Really? What place is that? The real prehistoric past. Better roll up the window, Scrappy. We're headed into outer space. Ever been through time, lad? Not yet. But how can we, Mighty Mouse? Well, it's probably too complicated for you to understand, Scrappy. But by orbiting the Earth counterclockwise at subsonic hydro speed, we can dissimilate the center of particles of present time. Key! So how do we do that? Simple. We put it in reverse. Sick. Um. Hey, look out the window, Scrappy! You can see the pages of history go by! Hey, I read about all these creatures in my comic books! Hang on, Scrappy! We're about to land! Gotta get those brakes checked. Uh, are you okay, Scrappy? That was fun. Will you let me drive next time? 
Welcome to prehistory, little buddy. We're right where we started, only it's millions of years ago. Well, how do you know that? Take a look for yourself. Mouseville, USA, to be built on this spot one million years from now. Yeah! Oh boy, I want to get some ancient relics and artifacts. I'll show the kids back in school. Let me at them! What is it, Mighty Mouse? I don't know. Uh, an earthquake, maybe? Or... Wait! I know! Wait! Where are you going? I'm going to put a cork in that volcano. Boy, someday I want to be as brave as Mighty Mouse. Today, though! Mighty Mouse? Oh, no. I hope nothing's happened to him. He owes me money. I, 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 be I better go look for him. I wouldn't want to be stuck out here alone. <laughs> Is this the end of Mighty Mouse? Has our hero been overcome by this battle against the forces of nature? And what will become of poor little Scrappy? Poor little Scrappy has his own problems right now. Hey, anybody home? No! Hi, my name is Scrappy. You guys got it all wrong. I just want to be friends with you, that's all. Really? Why, sure. Now, what's your names? Well, my name is Grok. He's called Snack. And this is my sister, Grudy. Pleased to meet you. Do you guys really live in here? <laughs> we have to. I think you met one of the reasons why. Yeah, I can see your point. Gosh, if only Mighty Mouse were here, he'd show those goony cats. Mighty Mouse? Who's he? Oh, he's my hero. The fastest, strongest, bravest mouse in the whole world. And if he were here right now, I bet he would... <laughs> Run like crazy! Oh, who will help these brave mice? What has happened to our hero? Oh, hey, look what you almost stepped in. Well, what do you know? It's a mouse. Gee, boy, is he ugly. Yeah. Mm, but I bet he'd be great with a little pineapple sauce. Go tell the boys to start up the walk. Mm, oh. <laughs> yes, sir. It's going to be a hot time in the old griddle tonight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I said, what do you think it is? I don't know, Scrappy. I've never seen it before. What do you think, Rudy? Well, maybe it's a transcendental icon sent here by a race of extraterrestrial super beings who are trying to preserve our existence. Nah. nah. Hey, what's wrong, guys? Oh, no. What is it, more tiger cats? Worse than that! It's the most dangerous creature of them all! Scrappy? In trouble? <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Why, the main course is going on. On the serving dish, that is. 
I think I let him cook a little too long, boys. He's really tough. Always remember, kids, never leave a fire burning. Mighty Mouse! Where are you? Ah! <laughs> 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 Here I come to save the day! You see? That's Mighty Mouse! Kinda short, isn't he? Boy, did I put in some overtime today! Well, at least you won't have to worry about those giants anymore! <laughs> well, Scrappy, what do you think of the past? Well, it's a nice place to visit, but I'll take Kansas. Do you think we'll ever see them again? <laughs> Gee, Mighty Mouse, this has been the best field trip I've ever been on. That's great, Scrappy. Did you learn a lot about the past? I sure did. Good. I'll tell you what you learned. Always remember, those who don't know about the past are doomed to repeat it. Gosh, did I learn that? <laughs> you bet you did, and so did the kids at home. And so I brought back this piece of Peloponnesian cheese to show you all today. That's very nice, dear. And how about you, Scrappy? What do you have to show us? Well, Miss Great Point, I. I don't have anything to show you but this genuine Barbasaurus egg from the prehistoric age. 